Hi, my name is Mrs. Lassiter. I'm a third grade teacher here at Center Grove Elementary, and today I'm going to be showing you some division strategies that we use when we're trying to learn division. We're going to go over these four strategies, and I have Harper here that's going to demonstrate each one for us. So we're going to start with 15 divided by 5. Okay, and so the first strategy that we are going to show with 15 divided by 5 is equal groups. So the first thing that Harper needs to understand is that we have 15 of something, and we are going to take that 15 and divide it into five equal groups. So the first thing she's going to do is draw five circles. Those are our five groups. Okay, and then the next thing she's going to do is she's going to put an X, a dot, a circle, whatever you want, in each um, circle until we get to 15. So she's going to start with the first one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now she's going to look at one circle, and she is going to see that she has 3 in that circle, so she will know that her answer is 3. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. Okay, so that was equal groups. I'm going to have her erase, and we're going to do the same division problem, 15 divided by 5. But this time we're going to show it with the array strategy. And so arrays are really similar to equal groups. The only difference is we are wanting nice, neat rows and columns. So this time we're going to, again, see that we want 5 divided, or 15 divided by 5. So we're going to put 5 x's in a nice straight line. Okay, and so now she's going to continue adding an X to each row until she gets to 15. The trick here is she has to remember she's already done five. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now she's going to look and see that in one row she has one, two, three X's. So her answer is three. Good job. Okay. We're going to again do 15 divided by five. And we're going to move on to another strategy, which is repeated subtraction. And so this time she is going to repeatedly subtract five from 15 until she gets to zero. So she's starting with 15 divided Take away 5 equals 10. Take away 5 more equals 5. And now she has come to 0. So she knows she's done. Now she has to count how many times she's subtracted 5. I'm going to circle them or there you go. 1, 2, 3. So again, she can tell that 15 divided by 5 is 3. Okay, the last strategy, again, we're going to use 15 divided by 5. Okay, so the last strategy is the number line. So the first step is you have to draw the number line. Okay, and you are going to, since we're trying to figure out how many times 5 can go into 15, we're going to start with 0 and number all the way to 15. Okay, and just like with repeated subtraction, she's going to repeatedly count backwards until we get to zero. So we're going to start at 15, and since we're dividing by 5, we're going to count five places on the number line. So she counted five places, and she knows she's stopping at the 10, and she's connecting, making a little hump. Okay, and then we're going to do five more, which stops her at the five. She's going to make another hump. Okay. 
and five more puts her at zero. Now, to find her answer, this time we count our humps. So we have one, two, three. So 15 divided by five is three. So these are some of the common strategies that we use with the kids until they have their facts memorized. Um, obviously that's the fastest, but this is, um, helps them solve their problems when they don't know their multiplication facts. Help.